Hello and welcome back. This is video number six. Let's talk about your thumbnail and why that is important. You see, since our goal is to get more clicks or more views to your YouTube video, we have to rely on attracting viewers. So if you think about it, the thumbnail is the first thing people see as they are scanning to find what interests them the most. So in other words, if you think about it, if you go to youtube.com and you type in a keyword, you're going to see all the results with thumbnails, the titles, the descriptions, and all of that. So that's the first thing that they see. So let's discuss what your thumbnail should contain and what's working in your market and how to figure that out. So when it comes to having a thumbnail, you want to make sure that it is eye catching, meaning it shows somebody what they want. So if instant pot chicken is your main keyword, you want to make sure that your thumbnail has something in it that entices them. So it's good to have the keyword or the title in it. So you can see right now the way YouTube works is they have an initial title or an initial thumbnail. And then after that, you can see motion. So if I put my mouse over it, you can actually see part of the video, which makes it a lot more engaging. So as we scroll down, the initial thumbnail that this woman uses is the Instant Pot. And then this one here, it says Instant Pot Recipes. So Instant Pot. So we can see the ones at the top definitely have the Instant Pot in it or a word that's chicken or a picture that has chicken in it. So it fits the keyword. Now, if you're not a professional, you know, thumbnail artist or anything like that, there are different sites that you can use to get these created. Now, bear in mind that you never want to use a thumbnail that is clickbaity or that lies to somebody because if they click on it and then the video is nothing like the thumbnail, then guess what? You might get tons and tons of clicks and perhaps views, but you're not going to get people watching your video, which is very, very important, which we'll discuss in the future videos. But for now, there are different elements that you need. So what I recommend is you go to a site called creativemarket.com. That's creativemarket.com. There are other sites like graphicriver.net, but over time we've realized Creative Market has a lot of really good designs. So what we can do here is in the search box, we're gonna type in YouTube thumbnail. And we're looking specifically for templates that we can use for the thumbnail. So it says YouTube thumbnail pack. Let's go ahead and open that. There's one here. There are end cards, but that's a little bit different. That basically comes at the very end of your video. So we got urban thumbnails, different types of thumbnails. But the reason why I like Creative Market is buying templates for specifically YouTube thumbnails is going to make your life a lot more easier, especially if you can make it professional. The more professional it looks, the more professional they, you know, your viewers will click through. So if we click on this, we can kind of get an idea of what we're dealing with. And here's more thumbnails here as well. Now, over time, we've realized with YouTube thumbnails, more and more designs are becoming minimalistic, meaning it's not too fancy, but it's got just enough information to tell the person what it is all about. So it could have text, it could have pictures, but you really need to know what your YouTube video is about before you can create your thumbnail. In fact, I recommend that you create your YouTube video first and then you create your thumbnail so that you can make sure that you attract 
the right person. Now, what we found a little bit of a technique is to create a thumbnail that is related to essentially the end, meaning if you're creating an instant pot chicken recipe, you might want to show the chicken already cooked. So essentially what people get if they click through. So that way people think, oh, okay, this looks really nice. I'm going to click through and they're more likely to actually watch all the way through to the end. And that's what we want. We want people not to just click through, but to watch all the way till the end. And that's actually going to help us with the ranking.